memorial recognizes our continuous commitment to all who dedicate their lives as first responders, but especially those who are part of the tragic events of September 11, 2001. This year marks the 16th anniversary of a day in history that we will never forget. Through this ceremony today, we ask you to help us pay remembrance to the nearly 3,000 men, women, and children who perished as a result of the September 11 attacks. So what do you think of it? It's nice. You know, the only thing, when I had it in my classroom, I just kind of had it on a table with an American flag on it. And, you know, it was funny how the, a lot of times the kids would come in the classroom and touch it all the time. And plus, even like janitors, any, anybody that came in the classroom and saw it, they always had to touch it. So that was kind of neat. But, you know, now, you know, I gave it to Ted thinking, you know, it's in my classroom. I'd rather have it on display so more people can see it. So out here, it'll be nice that you know, everybody can see it. There's nine stones. It's 11 feet tall. And each stone gets thinner and bigger as it goes up. Okay. With the idea being that the, the energy that was given that day is an increasing thing. Okay. The steel pins, none of them line up. They're all, they all rotate and spiral as it goes up. The steel is intended to correspond to the effort people made to go up and come down via the stairs, and it's also commemorative of each individual who anonymously went and did what he had to do. All the pins are alike. The whole thing is about, really, an anonymous effort made on the part of the many for the few, and that's like it is every day. All of us want to help when the time comes we have an opportunity. We all want to jump in and be able to say we did our part. That's humanity right there.